Hey there, I'm Jen Herman with Jen's Trends. And if you've wanted to write better Instagram captions and get more conversions from Instagram, this is the video for you. So why are Instagram captions so important? Because captions are where you make conversions. Photos and videos get their attention. Your profile is where you get them to click on that link in the bio or click on an action button, but somehow you get to get them between the photo or the video and the profile. How do you get them there? The caption, that is why they're so important. Captions are how you drive conversions on Instagram. So how do you make them good? How do you make them stand out? How do you make them work for you? Well, let's break down a few things. <clears throat> First of all, the first sentence is super important, okay? If you've noticed when you're scrolling through Instagram, you'll see the username and you see two lines of text and then you get truncated to dot, dot, dot more. If someone doesn't click dot, dot, dot more, they're not reading your caption. If they're not reading your caption, you're not getting conversions. We want them to read that caption. First of all, when they click on that and read it, that's a positive ranking in the algorithm. So even if they don't like or interact in another way with your content, the algorithm is ranking that positively. So that already is a good sign. But additionally, we need them to click it to read it. So how do we get them to click that dot, dot, dot more? Well, the first sentence, it has to be really powerful. Think of something like a bold subject line in an email or a blog post title, something that really is gonna get their attention. It could be a question, it could be a statement, it could be an opinion. Use capital letters, use emojis, do something where in that first sentence, you are capturing their attention enough for them to wanna read more. If you start rambling on about something that means nothing to them, they're not gonna click dot, dot, dot more and you're not gonna get any of that follow-on engagement. So that first sentence, make it really powerful. Next, how long should your caption be? What is ideal? Eee. There's no real good answer to this. In general, a bunch of studies have been done on this. A decent one to three paragraphs is usually what I recommend. 70 to 120 words has been some recent testing that has shown to be the most valuable. Back in the day, little like really short captions were ideal. But of course, people are using it more, people are using it for marketing, and the whole purpose of the caption is to take the context of the image that much further. People are expecting to read something. So that one to three short paragraphs gives you enough to give some context, share some information, put in your call to action, whatever it is you want to include in there, that gives you that space. Now technically, you have 2200 characters, not words, characters of space that you can fill in your caption. 2200 characters is a lot. Most people are not on Instagram to read a novel or even a mini blog post. It's not something most people are going to read. Now, that being said, you'll notice I maxed out the 2200 characters on more than one Instagram post. That's because I have learned to use my Instagram account as a microblog. I use longer content. I share updates and information that people want, and if it's value add, they will read it. But not every post is that long. So you really do need to test your audience and see what type of content is working for you in terms of caption length. Because I can tell you, till I'm blue in the face, what is ideal, but until you test it for your audience, we don't really know. But in general, let's go for that one to three short paragraphs. Now, I just said paragraphs. How do we get that darn spacing in there? For that, feel free to click on the link to that video down here in the description of this video where I show you exactly how to add the spacing to your captions so that you can have those paragraph breaks and make it look even prettier. All right, so we talked about conversions. How do we get conversions? You have to have a call to action. Now you're not gonna put a call to action in every single caption, that's too much. And you're not always going to use the same call to action. It's not always going to be click on the link in the bio. You may have something like go watch my stories, leave a comment below. You may just ask a question in, in, that invites the dialogue that someone wants to leave a comment and return. You may say, send me an email. You may say, come into our store this weekend. Whatever it is, you're gonna have a variety of calls to action to keep it fun and you don't wanna oversaturate the single call to action. And again, don't put it on every single post. Not everything is meant to be conversion driving, but you do wanna have that call to action in there to be able to push those conversions. And that call to action has to stand out. 
So again, like that first sentence, make it bold and powerful. Make it really clear that it's there with emojis, capital letters, and keep it simple. A call to action should not be a paragraph. A call to action is click on the link in the bio, click on the email button, call us, leave a comment below. Like we're noticing like four or five words, that's your call to action. If it's a really long winded call to action, you're not going to get as many conversions because that's not the way Instagram is designed. So if you compile all of this together, you should be able to write yourself some really good, strong captions that drive conversions. If you want more help with your Instagram strategy, I am available. Feel free to go to jenstrend.com forward slash services or shoot me an email at jen, J-E-N-N, -N, at jenstrends.com. And I would be happy to work with you on your social media strategy, your Instagram strategy, and get you up to speed on all these things for your business. I will see you in the next video.